magic from the space-time continuum, my next guest, he is the pop culture magician, the one and the only, Mr. Mike Pinkston! <laughs> or AKA tonight, Dr. Emmett L. Brown. How's it going there, buddy? Good, good to see. Now, you are a fantastic magician. We found you out in Las Vegas at all the pop culture events up and down the East Coast and all over the world. So why don't you give the 411 on what actually a pop culture magician does? Well, I was sitting on my uh, couch uh, two years ago. I used to be a full-time magician. I traveled the country, illusion shows. I gave that up and went into computer security, which actually pays a lot better. Really? Yes. Well, we pay excellent <laughs> down here tonight. I know. So I was sitting at home, and I noticed my Stormtrooper helmet in my living room. And I said, that would look good with a straitjacket. And that actually became my first business card. And I came up with the concept, magic and pop culture. So within three weeks, I bought back all the props I used to use, literally everyone, not the same one, but the same type. I wrote a show with entirely pop culture, really themed to pop culture, uh, because I'm a nerd. Okay, that's we it. Are. I, was, I was a proto nerd back when there were no, well, there were no acceptable nerds. I was a nerd back then. So um, I came up with it. I, sh I did a benefit show Memorial Day two years ago. I filmed it, I edited it, and I sent it out, and uh, I did, I think, 12 Comic-Cons the first year. Unbelievable. And uh, this year we'll probably do 20-something, everywhere from Maine to uh, Indiana. Un Indiana Jones, an easy part yes. of your act as well. Yeah, yes. But not the act you're going to do tonight. You're no. doing this gracing me because you know yes. I'm a huge Back to the Future yes, fan. You follow me on Twitter and you see all of my tweets about Back to the Future. And when you wanted to be a guest on the show, you said, I'm going to come on as Dr. Emmett L. Brown. Now, is this the most popular uh, act that you have in your act? Well, to me, anyway. It is. <laughs> well, to me, because I'm a big Back to the Future fan, too. As you can tell, this is yes. not my no. hoverboard. This is my good friend Mark's hoverboard over That's here. That's the one I use in the show. I actually have one from the movie back in a safe place in my home. In a, in you didn't bring it down place. here so we can actually I, see I some movie it. memorabilia? It, I should have, but I didn't. Unbelievable. Uh, and I have a real flex capacitor. Actually, I have five flex capacitors. So I, I really love Back to the Future. But basically, I do all the stuff I love. Uh, I do Doctor Who. I do Indiana Jones. I do uh, a random, random Jedi named Bob. I do the shark from Jaws. Bruce. Bruce is in it. Bruce uses a head chopper. Unbelievable. He takes a head in the show. Uh, and uh, I also use the Slightly Evil Dead, slightly because it's funnier. Uh, and I actually do attack the audience with a chainsaw. Uh, they love that. But what you have for I us tonight that. is you're going to do a magic yes. trick from the space-time continuum. I am. And what you're going to do right now, if you want to get all the information and book you for parties, events, and whatnot, yes. all the information is on the screen right now. But yeah. well, let's hear it up right now for the one, and he only getting over there to do his act, the one and only Mark Pinkster Thank you. Unbelievable. And with my assistant, Marty, we're going to do magic with science. Science, 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 science. Science. Science, 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 science. I love science. that. Anyway. I brought my flex capacitor. Here it is right here. Marty, can you turn it on? Yeah, dude. With the flex capacitor, I made a standalone one so we can actually use it on other things other than that shiny car. So now I can use it here to make matter go to different dimensions of space and time. Time, 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 right. time, time. We'll start with this, something small. Put that aside. Okay, we got the flex capacitor working. Marty? Yes. I have a hat here. What does it say in that hat? Indiana Jones. Do you know what that means? No. It means I paid three times more expensive to this hat than I should have. Okay. So what we're going to do it is over here, we're going to take it and we're going to do a test. We're going to try it with some of these blocks. And if it works, we're going to then do it with the flex capacitor. So what's going to happen is the hat goes up here. Good. One of these blocks is going to go flying through the air at 88 miles an hour. But you're not going to see it because it's going to be really, really fast. Okay, keep holding it. Good. We're going to test it now. Ready? Let's, let's use the green block. Okay, here we go. Now you've got to watch very carefully. Otherwise, you miss it. And one, two, three. And Marty, bring the hat down and show them the block. <laughs> now, Marty, get the watery can. Got it, Doc. Okay, here we go. Now, got to put this in here. And we're going to make the flower grow. Are you ready okay. for this? Okay, give me some water. We'll use the flex capacitor. We'll turn it up just a little bit. Oh, man. It's really going, Doc. Whoa! Mm, 
going to make Marty's head disappear. What? And then to prove it's actually gone, I'm going to stick 20 knives where her head used to be. Doc? Now, ignore the radiation stickers. Your head probably will only glow for a few million years. What? OK, put your hands up. Uh, OK. OK. There we go. Good. I don't put know back about on. this. This would be fine. OK. Hi. Hi. Are you sure about this, Doc? Sure. Great. Here we go. OK. Now. We put down the blast shield so your eyes don't completely blow out of your head. Okay. Marty, by the way, if you ever wanted more piercing in your ears, this is a good time. Oh. Sorry about that. Ooh, sorry. Ow. Ah. Uh. Sorry about that. And my favorite one. There may be a little pressure. You'll be fine. Ready? Yeah. Okay, Marty, we're gonna go. Uh, you're, we're gonna move the chest to the left, and then go to the right. There we go. Great, Scott. That actually works. Uh, never actually had that happen before. Uh, hopefully, we we'll get our head back. Okay, here we go. I need you to do is come up here. Yeah. Move the chair back. Okay. I need you to get on this, face that way. You Sit here, face that way. You want me to do what? Yes, exactly. Okay. Now lay down with this in the middle of your back. Don't worry, you only hurt for just a minute. Uh, I don't know that I want to do this, Doc. Oh, it'll be fine. Okay. You'll be fine. Hands up. Yep. Okay, there we go. Doc, I don't think this is a good idea. It will be fun. I don't want to do this. Ready? Yeah, Doc. Remember. Lay back and think of the Empire. Okay. Ready? One, yeah. two, three. Ah! Hold on. Let's see. Let's see. It's stuck in the bone a little bit. Ah. It's fine. Marty, how you doing? Um, it feels a little weird. Okay. I can't, are my legs okay? I can't feel them. They're fine. Okay. okay. So. So. Is there a nurse here? A doctor? Has anybody ever seen a medical TV program? No? You're a doctor, uh, doc. I know. I go back to the future and fix it. You will be fine. Oh, okay. I made it so the saw only cuts wood, not people. Okay. So hands up. Yep. Sit up. Mm hmm. Turn around and look at the board. 